Abiy Ahmed's Prosperity Party won in the July parliamentary elections conducted in majority constituencies in the country. The National Electoral Board says areas that couldn't vote because of insecurity and logistical challenges will do so on 30th September, just a few days before the new administration is formed. Peace and security is bound to be one of the challenges of the new government. One whole region in the north, the Tigray, did not participate in the polls and doesn't have a new date scheduled to vote because of the protracted conflict there. As the government continues to battle for control of the Tigray region with the Tigray People's Liberation Front, the UN continues to raise concerns about a deteriorating humanitarian crisis involving over 5 million people. Development agency USAID has accused the TPLF of looting humanitarian aid, especially in Amhara region that borders Tigray. Efforts to have Ethiopian-led peace talks, as suggested by the United Nations, remain stalled because the Ethiopian government says it cannot negotiate with terrorists. The TPLF has rejected a decision by the African Union to appoint former Nigerian President Olusogono Basanjo as special envoy for the Horn of Africa. It has accused the AU of partiality towards the Ethiopian government and says the mission will not work. This conflict and others in some parts of the country are hurdles that Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed will take from his transition period to the new government in a month's time. Koleta Anjohi, SABC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.